Hey there, I am one of the developers from Aurora Devs, and I'm very excited to show you our new plugin for Unreal 5, Ultimate Gameplay Camera. In this continuation video, we will see how to set up the Focus Camera modifier. What you'll see here is a small system we have quickly set up that makes the players strafe around the enemies once they're close enough. Now, let's make the camera lock onto them as well. In the code where the player starts strafing, let's get the player camera manager. Now I am going to be taking some shortcuts for the sake of demonstration purposes. After we get the UGC camera manager, there's two functions we need to call toggle camera focus, which enables or disables the focus, and set camera focused targeting method, which is a blueprint class, which retrieves the location of the target we want to focus. We will leave it empty for now. And of course we want to disable the focus once we stop strafing. Now, let's set the targeting method. Create a new blueprint class inheriting from the interface UGC iFocus target method. Override the function, get target location, and do not forget to call the parent function. Our player character already knows the strafe target, so we will pass that with its location. In your game, you can use your own components and methods to get any location in the world. You can see that it's not working, and we're getting an error message. That's because the yaw and pitch follow modifiers are active. These two modifiers conflict with the focus modifier, so they have to be disabled when we want to lock onto something. You can now see what is tedious about this approach, but don't worry, there is a better way. It's working and now we're strafing around the enemy, while the camera is locked onto them. But we're aiming a bit downwards because the target's location is on the ground. Let's add an offset on the z-axis to fix that.
That looks much better. Now, let's simplify the code. We can duplicate our default camera data asset. Inside, let's turn off all of the yaw and pitch follow settings. Enable the focus modifier and specify the targeting method we have just created. Now all we need to do is apply the camera data asset when we are strafing around the enemy and remove it once we stop. This simplifies the workflow and the code significantly. That's all there is to it. Do check out the demo project and the documentation in the links below as we go in much further detail about each feature. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop by the Discord server, where you can interact with us and the community and get asset-specific support by getting verified. You can also email us at support at auroradebs.u or post questions on the Marketplace product page.